Hello, my name is Stacy, and I'm a docent at the Oliver Ellsworth Homestead in Windsor, Connecticut. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the sculpture of Oliver we have at the homestead in the room we call Oliver's Office. Perhaps Windsor's most prominent citizen, Ellsworth represented Connecticut at the Continental Congress and was a drafter of the Connecticut Compromise, which created the dual system of representation we have today in Congress. The term United States was Oliver's idea, and he was a framer of the Constitution, although he never signed the final version. As a powerful political figure and successful lawyer, Ellsworth served as one of Connecticut's first two senators, where he chaired the committee that created the bill organizing the U.S. judiciary, which defines our court system today. He also served as the third Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court under George Washington. In a room we call Oliver's office at the Oliver Ellsworth Homestead, you will find a plaster copy of the original sculpture created by Hezekiah Auger, which was presented to the Connecticut Daughters of the American Revolution in 1903, when ownership of the homestead was transferred to them. The sculpture was created by Auger between 1834 and 1837, and as Oliver had already passed away, the artist based this on likenesses and a painting. Legend has it that his daughter Frances served as a model for it as she bore a strong resemblance to her father. Can you imagine having that distinction? This sculpture makes Oliver look so very severe. We wonder why other portraits we have seen are quite the opposite. The original bust of Oliver Ellsworth resides in the Supreme Court building and another copy is located at DAR headquarters in Constitution Hall, both in Washington, D.C. Please consider stopping by the Oliver Ellsworth homestead in person and allow us to show you his beautiful home. Known as Elmwood, this historic property is owned and maintained by the Connecticut Daughters of the American Revolution.